Welcome to uh, Yansu. I love I love this map. Yansu's quickly um, become one of my favorites. It's really found a special place in my abdomen. It's just you know it's like a blade you just can't remove. But uh, spawning in the northeast position as the teal Protoss player from Team Mouse Sports. It is Deer. Very recently joined Mouse Sports. Formerly STX Soul, and then just Soul. And his opponent in the Southwest, the other Protoss player from Invictus Gaming, the Chinese Protoss, that's up 1-0 in this best of three. It is Max Ed. So. Oh boy, PvP, PvP, PvP. You know, not too many people know this. I actually like to actually play a lot of Protoss. Um, which is one of the reasons why, as a Terran main, I love to joke about Protoss. But when I am playing Protoss, I surprisingly like PvP more than any other matchup. Like, it's not really that sad. Like, it can be satisfying to A move, like, five Colossus and a Roach Hydra if your opponent doesn't build Vipers. But PvP. Like, if you win a PvP in, like, some sort of weird micro battle, it always feels good. We can see Max had just actually checked for a proxy 2-gate. He wanted to make sure he wasn't getting cheesed this game, which is very smart to do. I don't think Deer is, like, a proxy kind of guy, or at least proxy 2-gate versus a Protoss kind of guy. But, I don't know. Maybe he maybe he played Crank recently on ladder. He's worried. Deer will check as well. Cybernetic score is on the way. So both players got their gateways at the same time again. Very normal setups. Six gas, six on gas. Four on gas. So it looks like Max Ed's build's a little bit more economic. He's mining more minerals um, than his opponent. And I think, I wonder if it even shows up on this. Yeah. As you guys can see, like on this resource tab, it's early enough in the game. It's hard. It's kind of hard to tell, but you can see there's a little bit more mineral income for Max Ed and a bit more gas income. <clears throat> for deer and that's just kind of one of like the very interesting tiny things that you can notice there's a bit bit more a bit more obviously gas at play but it, it can mean faster tech it can mean um, getting things like the mothership core and warp gate very quickly along with the stalker whereas with this cybernetics core finishing the mothership core is going to be delayed a little bit because he wanted to open up with the stalker and the warp gate technology so I'll have to see what Deer actually wants to do as far as tech goes. This Zealot being moved out doesn't seem to make too much sense just yet. Um, I guess he could move out with the Stalker as well. Stargate being built back at the uh, the main base behind it. Which I guess I do like. The Zealot, Mothership Core, Stalker, Harass is almost never bad. But this two gateway play from Max Edge should be able to just smack it down. I really like two gate um, openers in PvP. Because if you open up with a lot of stalkers, there's very few things that you're going to be weak against as long as you control better than your opponent. Um, I think, obviously, having lots of stalkers means that Stargate play is more difficult if you're not caught out on the map. But dealing with attacks like this, Zealot Mothership Core Stalker, you get, out, you get out stalkers very quickly, which you're able to use to micro against not only, obviously, the Zealots that are slow, but... You just kind of push everything back. And there's this time warp trying to pick off the Stalker of Deer. This would be a huge pickup. Uh, and he does grab it. Max said a fantastic beginning to this game. This Zealot's like, Zealots are so slow and almost nobody cares. There is an Oracle on the way. But this third gateway that's being produced, Max said might just try to go for the throat with these pylons that are so aggressively postured. Yeah, oh, he might have just boned himself. Deer's really trying to stop this, this train of pylons from going into his base, but... Maxed's not going to give up. Uh, Maxed is going to push all the way through. I don't know if Deer can stop him. He's going to have this Oracle. An Oracle and a Stalker with all of his probes maybe to hold this. The Oracle is going to move out. So it's just a Stalker and some probes. This is really, really difficult. Where's the Warpins? Two Stalkers. Where are they? Okay. Seems right outside the base here. This is going to be really hard. He actually builds two in his main base. So this Oracle shouldn't... This Oracle actually can't kill him. The Void Ray is what he's relying on to defend himself. Now that he's warped in a few Zealots. Um, a bit more stable for Deer. But man, that looked really scary for a second there. And this still looks very scary. There's no Photon Overcharge. It comes purely down to the control of Moxhead, who has more Stalkers. And now, moves in. Will try to snipe off one of his opponent's Stalkers. No luck just yet. The Mothership Core is going to be a prime target. The Void Ray extends itself a little bit far, though, in doing so. 
and will get snapped up, but will that have caused enough damage to allow this to recover? I think so. The Zealots did a great job, great job of tanking. Two, two very weakened stalkers immediately get picked apart. And this is nice. The Oracle dove, picked off probes, and then just died. So seven probe kills for deer. And I'm starting to think Max does get into a worse and worse position. He's continuing to commit this commit to this attack, though. Will pick off a few more stalkers. But it's so hard microing stalker versus stalker when there's this zealot just trickling in a little bit of extra damage. Great defense by Deer. Um, really impressive defense by Deer. He's bringing in the stalkers. At this point, if it was me playing, I would just, you know, try to pull all my probes as well because Deer is probably going to just swing this pendulum all the way back across the map. But Max says he's going to try to make something happen. He's still committing fully to stalkers. The fact that Deer is continuing to make probes is slowing down his unit production. It's still very risky to push up that ramp. Keep in mind there's a probe out here. He could get a pylon for some counter harass if he does get contained. And he's just going to move in on top of all of these stalkers. Maxed's trying to make something happen. He's got a unit count lead. He could just force field uh, Deer outside of his main base. And that's exactly what he's going to do. I don't know that there's enough units though. Sentry DPS is pretty horrendous. So he force fields him in but waits for the next warp ins. And this is still difficult to make work. Um, just kind of waiting for the next force field, I suppose. But Max Head has run out of steam. Everything gets destroyed. Another Stalker warped in. That will die as well. And GG Deer ties this series up. One to one. Good game, Deer. Good game.